What are the strongest armies at Town Hall 16? In this video, we're going to reveal the top five strategies at Town Hall 16, including the hero equipment you should use with it, the pet combinations, the CC combinations, and everything you need to know to master the army. At number five, we have Zap Lalo. Strong at Town Hall 15, it will be as well at Town Hall 16 with the new level to the Balloon and in particular the Lightning spell because now with six zaps, one Quake, the only two defenses you can't zap are the Ricochet Cannon and the Eagle Artillery. So you go for obviously value with the zaps, but you also want to go for Parthing. So notice I get rid of the buildings on the bottom side of the funnel. Now I'm going to use the King to tank for the Log Launcher and the Log Launcher is setting a path for the King and itself through the base. Then I'm going to use the Queen and the Ice Golem on the top side. Then the Royal Champion in a second, even higher, to set the funnel for the Queen. So the King deals with the Defensive King, set a Headhunter there. Now, Hero Equipment's interesting for this, because you'll see in one second's time, I've brought the Giant Arrow with this. Because you use the Queen ability at the start of the battle, there's a lot of defenses you can hit with her ability. But ultimately up to you, you could also use the healers as well, because the healers will mean she stays alive for a little bit longer. I think the giant arrow probably is more likely to get value. There are sometimes the healers will do nothing, but ultimately up to you. RC on the top side to deal with that defensive RC. The town hall just goes down. However, if the town hall didn't go down, that wouldn't have mattered. Trust me, we still would have tripled this base. We're gonna overkill with this Lalo. Then, it, yeah, you just Lalo what is left. I'm going straight into the defensive queen here because I want it to take her down easily rather than dealing with her on the back end of the base. And we're spreading our loons around bit by bit. Hanging on to the last Lava Hound because I'm going to get this in the Warden ability. We have one Freeze and one Haste left. I used a Freeze with my Sui. Let that Scatter hit once. Then we use the Haste spell. And uh, yeah, this base is in a lot of trouble. The Balloons zoom across the base. If I need to, and I do, I Freeze the Scatter Shot. Spread the remaining Loons around the base. And that is a GG. Pretty wrecked. Lots of Balloons left there. And yeah, this strategy is going to be strong at Town Hall 16. Now, it is difficult. That's one of the reasons it's so low on the list. In terms of three-star potential, it's as high as any other army on this list, but it is difficult to learn how to do. But if you put in the time and effort, you will crush so many bases with this army because there's really no base style in the game that can stop this. At number four, we have Super Archer Clone Hydra. Super Archer's got an upgrade. Dragon's got an upgrade. Balloon's got an upgrade. The Dragon Rider got an upgrade. But most importantly, the Warden got an upgrade with the new hero equipment for the Rage Gem. We pop the Warden ability here because one of the weaknesses of Hydra for the longest time, particularly in this army comp, is you have no spells for the Hydra. All your spells are attributed to the Super Archer Clone Blimp, and generally the Hydra will struggle on the back end of the base. But now with the Rage Gem that grants all troops inside the Warden or a 50% extra damage, you don't have to worry about that at all. So the Super Archer Clone is doing great work, but have a look. The Hydra is taking out the entire back end of the base here. All thanks to that 50% rage, and honestly, this 50% rage will take this army to the next level. These two dragons going in the core, unfortunately, won't get the benefit of the rage, but hopefully should finish off the defensive queen here. They target onto her, and yep, she goes down. Now it's time to focus on what hero equipment do we have on our queen. Let's pop the queen ability and find out. And yes, we're bringing the healers and the healers take this army to the next level. Earlier, I did an attack with this army and look, the queen is on zero HP, barely lives. But because there isn't much base left, the healers bring her back to life and she takes down the rest of the base. Now, obviously, I'm swagging my royal champion here, so I was going to triple it anyway. But that shows the power of the healers. They can bring the queen from the brink back to life and she can take down the back end of the base and that more than anything is going to be scary for base builders against spam because yeah this healer puppet or i forget exactly what it is but the healer a hero equipment on the queen is so good with these spam attack strategies swag in the royal champion keep in mind how much of the base the royal champion can take down with the spirit fox as well so this isn't even close to defending super archer clone hydra is going to be so strong at Town Hall 16, watch out.
At number three, we have E-Dragons. Now I'll admit, we did a video a couple of days ago on e drags and I made a mistake. I had the wrong hero equipment. You don't want to bring the Rage Gem with the e drags Instead, bring the Healing Gem, because oh my word, this is even more powerful. But the most important hero equipment, BAM! Bring the healers, bring the giant arrow, no sweepers on this base to fight, and what chance does it have? E-Drags are crushing this base, and you can see the value of the healing tome, because these E-Dragons are still so healthy. They are still gaining health, even if they go out of range of the Warden Aura. As long as they, they were there for the Warden ability, they will keep gaining health. And we've still got seven E-Dragons up. We only bring eight with this army. And all but one of them are still up on the base. Still got my King ability on the bottom. We obviously don't have the Queen ability, but she has three healers on her. She is chilling. We pop the King ability and look at this. Six swag spells. This was the first hit I did with E-Dragons with the healing tome. I'm telling you, I thought it was broken with the rage gem, but the rage gem is completely ineffective because rages and the rage gem do not stack. I thought they did. They do not stack. Thank you to Itsu for that. But the healing tome, when you're not bringing any heals, that does stack. And oh my word, I crushed this base so hard. And yeah, we're gonna swag. I'm sorry uh, to myself for swagging on me like that, but I had to do it. This army is insane. At number two, we have Queen Charge Root Rider. Why is this army at number two? Because you don't have to Queen Charge much of the base to get a three star. As long as your queen doesn't die near instantly, and as long as you don't time fail, you will get the three stars or the 40 cups, whatever it may be with this army. With this army, you want to treat it like a queen charge hybrid. You queen one side, king and siege barracks the other, and the root riders through the middle. Now this base, the town hall was a little bit toxic, so I decided not to charge it. We're going to charge the back end and send the root riders through the town hall, but that's okay. Root riders have 8,000 hit points, even more if you pair them with the apprentice warden. What is it? 30% for the Apprentice Warden. So that would be an extra 2,400 hit points per Root Rider. So Queen's doing her thing on the top side. And you don't even need to Queen Charge for long before you start your Root Riders. Just get a little bit of a funnel down. And uh, as soon as we pull the CC here, I think we start getting going on the Root Riders. So we get the Wall Breaker. Annoying CC, but that's okay. We can deal with that. King on the bottom side with the Siege Barracks. And then we're going to wait one second. Put another Rage Spell down on the Queen, I believe. Yep. There goes the Rage Spell. And now come in with the Root Rider. Spread them out with the Warden and the Apprentice Warden. Then the RC. And away we go. King's doing great work on the bottom. Queen's still chilling on the top side. All is going great. Uh, we are still using for the king the exact same hero equipment no matter what attack you see today. I just think it's the best hero equipment for him in the game. Root Riders are coming across. We get to the town hall. We rage and then notice yet again using the healing tome. And then for the queen, we're using the healer one. Now, unfortunately, only one of the healers survives. But still worth it in my opinion, the invisibility and the uh, heal is going to come in clutch. So many Root Riders still up. Now, some of you might think it's better to use the Rage Gems with the Root Riders. And genuinely, I thought that would be the case. But I'm really liking the Healing Tome. And I'm not going to change. I, I don't think there's any point. Because you're bringing so many Rage Spells with this army anyway. Better to bring the Healing Tome and make these Root Riders even more tanky than before. And yeah, look at that. So many swag spells, but I, I did this base a couple of times uh, to pick the right replay for you all. It's not that I failed the other attacks that I didn't pick those replays. It's that uh, the queen charge on the other ones went so bad and I was still able to triple. I wanted to show a bit more of a cleaner hit for this, but that's why this army is at number two. It's not too difficult. It still is a queen charge attack, but it's not too difficult. And even if you mess up, you can still three star easily. 
Before we break down the number one attack strategy, I want to highlight one major weakness of this video. Now, I thought when Town Hall 16 came that we would have the same levels for all of the hero equipment, but it appears we have the high levels for the old abilities, but for the new abilities, they all start at level one. And that's a problem because earlier in the video, we had Super Archer Clone Hydra at number four, and we have E-Drags at number three. And those two armies are made so much stronger by the Rage Gem and the Healing Tone. But at the moment, both of them are level one, and that is really not that strong. So for the number one army in this video, I decided to put an attack strategy that's not only strong, but you don't need any of the new hero equipment. You don't need the Spirit Fox. This army worked at Town Hall 15, and it's the exact same here at Town Hall 16. So in this, all of the hero equipment is the existing hero equipment we have, so they're all higher level than level one. On top of that, the pets are all from Town Hall 15. We're not using the Spirit Fox, and there's no Root Rider. So that means, regardless of whether you gemmed or not, you can use this army right now in the game, and it is still strong because, I mean, Super Bowlers, have a look at the Super Bowler bounce we'll get in about 10 seconds' time. These troops are ridiculous. What do you do with Super Bowler Smash? It's all about starting with the Warden Walk to set an easy funnel on one side. Then you send the Super Bowlers through the middle, preferably into a tough spot of the base. By the way, did you see that Super Bowler bounce to get rid of the Monolith? Oh my word, this troop is so good. And then on the uh, other flank, you'll use your King. I used the Siege Barracks with him here because I didn't see much Flame Flinger value. But if there is Flame Flinger value, use that somewhere on the base instead of the Siege Barracks. But yeah, we're going to slowly get through this base and we've got one Freeze and one Invis left. Notice we're bringing the Diggy with the RC. Not at quite as strong as with the fox she's just incredible with the fox but still pretty good uh still able to clean up the back end of this base and we are going to triple this with a swag spell and yeah that's why this army is at number one so i'm going to be honest once you've got a uh, near max all new hero equipment and fox this won't be the number one army. There's stronger armies. Queen Charge Root Rider, for instance. I'm using this currently in the game, and it is so good. Uh, I haven't failed with it yet since the update dropped. E-Drags will be insane. Super Archer Clone Hydra will be insane, and Zap Lalo will always be insane. But particularly for the E-Drags, the Super Archer Clone Hydra, and the Queen Charge Root Rider, they will not be as strong until we get that new hero equipment and the Spirit Fox upgraded. So if you need an army in the meantime, this is your number one go-to. And despite not being the strongest army today, it deserves its spot as number one on the list currently.